counting. Uh, oh, I, that, that's that's just a you, I, I don't. I have a custom one. Oh, forty-nine. Five. Three. Two. Very dramatic. One. Mm -hmm. Pizza. <laughs> The wrong oh, translator. Apologies. What the fuck? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Golf go clap. Let's go! It <laughs> seems Hello. you've oh met with an uncertain fate. I'm scared. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am an infomorphic, highly mimetic <coughs> meme lord and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. <laughs> we create immersive, story based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting. And wholesome team effort. Welcome to the rendezvous, our point of contact to the narrative domain. Tonight, we will be telling the story of the prince. You are welcome to stream and or record tonight's event. We do this for free. We do this for fun. We do this for you. My friends, we will be opening an Invite Plus portal to another world. And the only way into that world is to send an invite request to someone already there. At this point, we kindly ask that you make sure you're friends with someone else here. So that way, you have a way back in. You are welcome to send a request to yours truly or my fellow tour guides, Trajim and Rendizo. Now then, travelers, you're in for a treat. Yes, because tonight someone special is with us here. Tonight, we will be graced by the greatest voice actor to ever exist. The storyteller who brings an entire world through his voice into your ears. Yes, the greatest friend a cube could ever ask for. My friends, please welcome Trajim, the tour guide. Nine. $300 Property to damage is encouraged at this event. Yes. <laughs> it is not worth it. So what are we getting for Christmas this time, Santa Jim? Cool. Good evening, wanderers of the narrative halls. Hmm. For Christmas this year, you are getting redacted. As mentioned, Aww. my name is Trajim, and I will be your storyteller tonight. This is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, I kindly ask that you become silent whenever we stop for narration. However, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves while we walk. Okay. Those in front of me Kindly step aside, and I will drop a portal to tonight's instance. I made it just on time. Yep. You never know which way he's standing, right? Oh. <laughs> My VR was actually there's my everyone, backwards. everywhere, <laughs> all at once. Always towards. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Always towards the library, er, library lobby. I mean, I'm half right with the library. There's. Yeah. 
I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure a library has a lobby. My friends, please do not enter the portal until I give the signal. Friends and travelers, I will see you on the other side. Ooh, there's an update. Oh, I've been here. I, I always wonder what. I can't believe that was the first one. I'm in. inside a panda. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Like ten people went in before me. Jesus uh, Christ, the avatar's alone. What? Hello, oh, panda. Getting panda. Oh, it should be orange today. But yes, hello. Uh -huh. So yes. Hello, Sorry. welcome. And yes. Oh, I gotta turn okay, here, hold on. Has well, my foot twisted? I think my foot has twisted. <laughs> it's my... all local. Yep, that's well, the twisted. Button, okay. <laughs> I feel that. I think this is the first time I've been in uh, been yeah. in yeah. yeah. Port yeah. 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 of your travelers. Wow. Hell yeah. Look at you go. This is my oh, I guess I'm so excited. I guess it hasn't yeah. been updated since hey, you're uh, the one who well, walked into that. Here, so, yeah. Welcome to Full Body. I, I, I didn't think so, but I'm angry at you for trying to see this. Recently. Okay, I'm, like, so expecting me to do that. Some getting yeah. for this oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You know exactly what you just did. Oh, you, that, was not, <laughs> uh, that was not a bug. I looked at you. I, I'm gonna sit down. I'm what? gonna relax. You, you mean? To no, no, you're not gaslighting. Me. You're not. Get, help get my buster back. Really the, what's the? I'm just using a particle. I do yeah, yeah, the, the, the eyebrows. The eyebrows. Relatively simple seat setup. Wait, you didn't see that. We gotta do better than 6.6. No, we just see the eyebrow. The eyebrows. Like, I'm not really like, 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 Oh, uh, I see that part right now. Oh, yeah. Google is your yeah, friend here. The same thing. I you know what? You'll see it. Or you'll see it. In time. Also, hi, Sai. I see you over there. I actually don't know. What are you talking about? That's your eyebrows. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? I'm getting gaslit right now. I'm getting gaslit. I don't always get what I see. I've not looked at the face of this thing. I don't know how to help you, though. I'm using it. Anyways. Like your eyebrows were mm -hmm. all crazy, but also your neck so was so so uh, when you, and you I seem very much relaxed right now. Right now. Wait, yes. I mean, this is what I'm always doing. Like, oh, is your yeah, eyes when I'm already right right in my... Uh, uh, no, is your eyes right here? This is generally what I'm doing. Are you sure? Okay, well, I'm all looking at something here, but this is now. You had... Yeah, that, uh... I tried to go for what? Two... Like, two months now, I was like, I just kind of realized it. I think the first time I noticed that you have a full body of your neck and you're like right here. Oh, oh god, yeah, that's actually a lot of this kind of tour. And in that, uh, VR Travelers, mm. I thought you did that. Uh, I was like, what's the matter? Hello, Travelers in the back. Kindly move forward towards the Tetheract so you can hear. Ah, okay. I call the Infinity Stone that's in the Tetheract. Is it yours or is it mine? Five, four, three, two, and one. Welcome to the narrative of the prince. Let's go over a few notes first. Please take a moment to adjust your world mm -hmm. volume so that you can hear the distant waves. Please make sure that big button to your right is orange, so that tour mode is on. I left, I think. Is it orange? If you are prone to experiencing lag, 
cool. Please feel free to turn off all avatars except us tour guides. If you are in desktop mode, press the tab button. If you are in VR, hold your hand above your head and press the menu button. This world's custom menu should appear. You can see a fast travel option that you can use in conjunction with a tour guide's help to catch up to the group if you need it. I will announce whenever we reach a new chapter in the story. Cool. One last note to VR users. This tour, in some parts, has some strong color filters. Now, my friends, please follow me so that we can begin the story. I don't know why. When Jim was explaining, when Trajan was explaining the button. To recreation of the inside of my mind. Nightmare. Night. Night. Ah, uh, yes, the blinding sword. Burps. Ah. Oh, there you are. Yep, right. Uh huh. <coughs> uh. Yeah, I guess you can sit in a place like this. Curious travelers, without further ado, the story begins. Listen. Can you hear it? The waves. They say that when I was born, everyone could hear it. The midwives, the guards, the servants, even the cooks and stable hands. Everyone in the castle. Everybody in the kingdom. Everyone heard the ocean. But didn't make any sense. The ocean is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. I had never heard the waves myself. At least, not until, until. <laughs> I think someone already died in Boo. the game. Is that all? Again, let's see it, remember? I 
in a castle tower, alone in a dark chamber, a young prince trembles beneath the covers. His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid, his mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted visions. Memories of that night, that storm, that harrowing storm, dark waters churning, roiling, nightmares plague him, guilt plagues him. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found along the beaches, blue faces strangled by seaweed, bloated, half buried in grey sands. But his father was not among them. All were lost to the sea. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his own imagination, finding brief reprieve in the pop of a candle, but the remission is short-lived. He sits up, looks at the raindrops sliding down the glass, and then slowly surveys the dark corners of his chamber. There is a meal on the cabinet, likely cold as stone. The thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. With a shaking sigh, he reaches over, scooping up a trinket from his bedside table, and he brings it close to his face, squinting in the low light to make out its details. It is a pendant from the sacred land of Lydicia, given to him by his late father, the king. All he has is this pendant, his mother and his brother. A warmth ignites in his heart, spreading across his body, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart, his brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people look up to him. His brother is the king they want. The chill of night begins to win the fight. The pendant loses its power, and his bed pleads for him to return heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away, a fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives back down to his refuge and... Who would be at his door at this time of night? Is it one of the guard, making sure he hasn't fled? Is it the nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters the glass as he turns his head toward the door. You're still awake? The prince exhales tension and nods. His brother steps out of a shadow, wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. Aside from the rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems nervous, and it makes the prince nervous. He shakes his head. Good. The brother glances toward the door. Get dressed. Grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions and fears swim in his mind, like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? Has Dacia finally reached the capital? Is his mother the queen sending him away? Is he... Is he finally going to prison for what he did? But none of the questions leave his lips. 
He just sits there, useless. Listen, his brother approaches the bed. This is serious. Put on your cloak and take whatever you don't want to look behind. Someone, someone is after us and he turns suddenly to face the door. The prince tries to listen. Hurry, his brother says in a harsh whisper. Now! The prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of the bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak. The dark blue one of the hood. What about mother? The prince's voice feels weak as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards? The aegis? What about... No, there's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Is he being like this? The prince finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with a felt belt he can find, and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Lodician pendant into his pocket before his gr brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passageway. My friends, let us follow the brothers into the dark. Please follow me. Go away, my trusty steed. <laughs> this is a prophecy for Tom. Yeah. my ass. Is it just me or is this a dark room? Bro, Thrill King, how'd you like that dungeon crawling? Or can you do a little bit more Good soon? Good grief. What? That's what it feels like at this part of the story. <laughs> dungeon crawling. Yeah. You're okay. spoiling things. I literally told you, you not to do that. I get uh, my foot on okay. the uh, climb carousel. My friends, <laughs> the castle is not a dungeon. Yet. The story continues. Mm -hmm. The prince and brother pass through an empty hall. The castle has been quiet thus far, but here, footsteps echo from some place ahead. Behind here, whispers the brother, pressing himself against a pillar. A moment later, a door swings open. The sounds of armor rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. The figure staggers past in a rush, glancing around only briefly, and they exit the way the brothers came from. That was the Aegis. The prince's heart flutters. But something's wrong. She looked injured. And how didn't she notice them? The prince peers up at his brother, expecting him to go after her. But he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand and uses a side door. My friends, this way. Uh, but actually, don't worry too much joking. I wasn't really spoiling too much. <laughs> I am chill. Oh. Oh, see that? Okay. Why are we here? The prince asks. The brother hurries past the shelves and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under furniture. The prince just looks at a nearby open book, some old red tome. Who is after us? The brother stops. The oracle is dead. The inquisitor killed him. 
He looks the prince directly in the eyes, mm. breathless, afraid. I saw it happen, and he saw me. Mm. The prince stumbles back, catching himself on a desk. The oracle dead? And the Inquisitor is... A cold chill crawls up the back of his neck. A sick feeling boils in his stomach. Dead. But, but the Oracle said that he is the Chosen One. The Oracle said that he survived for a reason. The Oracle said he would learn how to control it if he went to Laodicea and found it. The brother steps back and dusts his hands. Help me move this. The two of them, carefully, quietly as they can, drag a shelf away from the wall. Behind it, low to the ground, is an old door. A secret passage. This leads outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? Ready. How is he even supposed to answer that? Ready? How can he be ready? No. Oh no, this has to be a dream. It feels like a dream. A nightmare. The Oracle can't be dead. Any moment now, he's going to be shaken awake by his nurse. Yes, and his mother will be there, and for once he will welcome her presence. Yes, it's just a nightmare. Hey. The brother pulls him back. I know you're afraid. I am too. But without us, Lazarus has no ruler after Mother. We're going to escape. We're going to hide. We're going to get help. And then I'm going to figure out a way to solve all this. All right? It's going to be okay. We'll be okay. The prince can only bring himself to nod before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, we need to follow them. This way. Ooh. <coughs> Hello. Oh. Spoopy. The brothers emerge from the cramped passageway and find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems similar to the kitchen cellars, but the prince does not directly recognize it. Judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brother begins to cross the room slowly, checking every footstep. Prince stops. What's that noise? It sounds like grinding, rumbling, a storm? No. Oh. An image oh. rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. In a moonlight forest, a beast strides out of the undergrowth. It glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent, a great silver elk. It lands, pauses, turns back. A younger tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty, yet bearing great promise. The great elk observes as the younger elk's shadow moves. The shadow 
betrays the form. The forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options, four ways in which he can respond to this vision. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I will give you all two minutes to discuss amongst yourselves what you can do. After this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give the best answer you have heard. Your time begins mm. now. Mm. Oh, females, man! Choose your oh. Oh. I would like to uh, oh. descend. Descend. Yeah. To... Descend. 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 Wait, why not? Descend. descend. I'm on team descend. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say it. Wait, wait, wait. I'd rather. I'd ra don't dwell on uh, those bad. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah, I feel like descending would be good. I mean, so let's go to hell. Yeah. So, yeah. So for all people who haven't, uh, so, uh, right, I think so far this is the like, we haven't seen what a descent does for this yet. Uh, there are four, uh, or the other three, yeah, no, it is, the, like, uh, well, it gives us a bit of... Law. Mm -hmm. Divulge is, is uh, the brother it tries is. to, no, 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 no. the so um, prince bro. tries to tell his brother <laughs> something. I like this man. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, distract is like, basically, my... oh my god, a vision. Ignore, 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 ignore. What about you, little Cause... yellow cat boy? Oh. Remember not to be on me when so... I go through a passageway. So oh, those yeah. are so we're gonna try descending. Like, so there's... then I fall right to what happens to it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so people just uh, basically yeah, there, there is a bit more to each descend. of those options than I, uh, I, I described. I, I also glitched out of the because there's like somehow yeah. a little bit of narrative to each of those. But so far, I'm like giving you and then, general things. Oh yeah, it looks great. It's yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's like just as well because the effect yeah, does not. you, my friends. The time for discussion <laughs> is over. Oh boy, we have to choose first. What did we say? What did T we say? virus over. at the back. Oh, do you speak? You descend, descend very well. All right, there we go. Decisions made. The prince's fates have been sealed. Oh my god, what have you done? The prince dives deeper into the vision. <laughs> he remains in the moonlight forest. The shadow continues to shift, sliding beneath the younger elk. The greater elk stamps its hoof, unmoved. The shadow does not flinch. The elk stamps again, and the shadow leaps in to strike. Ooh. Interesting. Not what I was expecting at all. Yeah, me neither. Hey, hey. Are you alright? His brother is holding the prince's shoulders firmly. Another vision. No vision is worth your life. Come on, we have to keep moving. This way. My friends, the story continues. So, here we go. I don't like what that means. I don't like, I don't what, like that what that means, means either. For the brother. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think something's about to happen. Oh, God. I think oh, probably your brother. Fate had been sealed. Yeah. Oh. Ah. One of the Aegises. <coughs> oh, yeah, right. I see. I see where you're going with this. What? Do you, mean, oh. do you mean the air? 
I must be possessed because I'm a character yeah, that is called yeah, the brother. <laughs> yeah. Well, this avatar have nothing. Yeah. Friends, I think we might have his name. Maybe I don't know. And puzzle solvers. <laughs> the story continues. Mm. The brother stops the prince as they come out on a high platform overlooking more stone-hewn chambers. The prince listens. There are voices coming. The prince tries to pull away and go back through the door, but his brother drags him down, and they watch and listen as two figures enter, dressed in red garb. Are you sure we have to search every room down here? Havana Zealot with red hair comes to a stop in the middle of the room. Nobody comes this far. Most don't even know the way. The taller zealot shakes his head. If the fireborn says to check every room, we're checking every room. Varna, have mercy on you if you want to go against that order. Besides, the Aegis came this way, and he wants to make sure she's on our side. Just as he says this, another door opens, and they both draw their swords. The silver Aegis herself stumbles in, still clad in shining armor, sword drawn. A moment of tension. Before they collectively sigh. What happened to you? asks one of the zealots, sheathing his blade. Ah, oh, the prince. He attacked me. So says the red-haired zealot. It's true, then. The prince is an enemy of the church. They both are, the Aegis says. But the younger prince wasn't in his chamber. She begins to look around the room. The prince shrinks down. They're both on the run, then, says the tall zealot. Seems the fireborn was right. Only an enemy of God would attack the most reputable knight in Lazarus. And to murder the Oracle in cold blood? They are demons possessed by Dacian spirits. Come, let us search together. If the princes are so cunning as to get the better of you, he caught me off guard, the Aegis snaps. He didn't seem himself. Still... We'll cover you, in case he tries the same tricks again. The Aegis gives a nod, and the th three of them exit, leaving the princes alone again. There they lie for some moments. The prince wants to turn his head, to see his brother's face. But he also doesn't. After a time, the brother slowly gets up and helps the prince to his feet. They look at one another, wordless, and climb down. My friends, let's follow them. The way out is surely just ahead. Surely? Don't call me surely. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Uh -huh. Uh, hmm. Okay, that was kind of cool. Bunkers. Actually. Yeah. Right. Oh, this guy. Wow. Hello. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. Well, all good tours must have a bed. I'm pretty sure it's all medieval nonsense. It's medieval nonsense. It's medieval nonsense. There's no magic. Don't be silly. What do you mean?
Chapter 2 A final secret tunnel takes them up some steep stairs and into some long abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through cracks in the shutters, accompanied by the gentle grey of dawn, and the rain has since eased. The moth-eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old dust-covered bed. He sits and sighs. He is tired and hungry, and his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. Was that there this whole time? The prince wants to ask about it, and the Aegis, the Oracle, the Inquisitor. But his mouth is dry, and his jaw aches, and he, for the first time, is afraid of the only person who has always been there for him. I think it's safe here. Are you all right? His brother is looking at him. The prince nods, and the brother approaches and offers a water skin. Here, he says, have some. The prince looks at the water skin. The leather is carved with their royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother. But he can't. You think I attacked the Aegis, the brother says. You think I killed the Oracle. The prince looks down. Well, says the brother, I did one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I didn't want to. But you must understand that I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the Oracle last night. I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation. But I overheard the conversation. What they said about you. I saw the fire in the Inquisitor's eyes. The blood spilling. The Oracle called you Oceanborn. The Inquisitor. He wields the power of miracles of fire. You know this. He thinks you were sent by the enemy. He thinks the Chosen One should be fireborn like he is. He... Well, I don't really understand it in its entirety, but what I do know is if I went to the Aegis for help, then she and everyone else in the castle would have faced the wrath of the Inquisitor, including Mother. This way, it's just us. This way, everyone else is safe from him. You understand, don't you? The prince slowly lifts his gaze to meet his brother's. Something about his voice, the way he's talking. He's never heard his brother sound so afraid. He can feel the Lydician pendant in his pocket. Look, the brother says, unbuckling his weapon. If you still don't trust me, take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. Come on, we need to keep moving, he says. It won't be safe here for long. We need to get out of Morvos, and then... And then... I'll figure out what to do next. We'll I'll find allies. Someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand. The prince takes it. And they exit. My friends, let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos and help them find a way out.
Miracle of water, miracle of fire. Oh. Ah, yes, town. Ooh. Oh, this is where I last time joined Mouse Man. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're all just vibing. Final. Price is over in that corner. Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up, ignorant of what transpired overnight. Rugs are shaken out of second story windows. Farmers set up stalls to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces, while innkeepers sweep the past night's chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. This way, the brother says suddenly, and he pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a moment later, a pair of zealots dressed in red approach a pair of city watchmen. Let it be known, says one of the zealots, that the princes are to be brought before the Varna church if they are found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Truly. The prince can't see the guards' faces, but he can hear the confusion in their voices. The princes? What do you speak of? The heir murdered the oracle and taken his younger brother as hostage. The inquisitor fears the heir is being compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced Dacians on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he queen's orders? The zealot snaps. If they are found, the Inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the Crown and of God. Very well. We shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. Nobody can know who we are, the brother says. Don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up. Don't let anyone see your possessions. The guards won't let us out of the gates before checking who we are and we'll definitely be recognized. We just need to... Hmm. All right, I have an idea. I know someone who could help us, but we need to get across town. The brother looks down the road, brow furrowed in thought. My friends, the brothers are about to cross Moravos but they're going to need our help. Tonight's NPCs are Diamond and Metal Gen. Please come and stand with me. Damn, I hate those people. Change into your avatars now. My friends, you will want to show the avatars of its NPCs, Diamond and Metal Gen, in front of me. Oh, they will be playing city guards. NPCs, please take a position in the city where you cannot hear me as I continue the rules. Hi. <laughs> My friends, those who remain, listen carefully. The rules are as follows. This quest requires that you are all able to use your microphone. If you do not wish to, or if you think the NPCs know you too well, or if you wish to opt out of this quest for any other reason, please come and stand behind me here. Mm, Everyone else, please take a minute well. to form pairs. 
Okay. I yeah. prefer apples. Do you think you want to then? <laughs> Give me pear. I was gonna That's say almost the exact same thing. Sure. Okay. 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 Yeah, 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 I'll take a pear. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I want to say a pear. Wait, you're joining in the quest or no, Chris? Can I have a pear? Sure. Who is a pear? We about to. We about to. We about to. No. Yeah, let's go. Who needs a pear? It's not trivial. I need a pear. Railing. It's not derailing. One pear up. I know. I know. Two. Sure. Side thing. Cool. My friends, quest, travelers, oh. is there anybody peerless? Me. Please come and stand before uh. me. Kahora yes. and Ashes, are you peerless? Oh, yes. Yeah. Ashes and Kahora, you are a pair. Hmm? Yes! Boonie and Look Bone and go. Black Flame, are you peerless? Yep, I'm peerless. peerless. You are now best of friends. Good luck. Who else is there? Hi. Congratulations, you me. Ragnos and Sai Kai? Sai. Haha. Ha. Kai Haha. Ha. Ragnos and Kai Haha. Ha. You are both a pair. I think it's Sai Haha. Ha. <clears throat> My friends, this is what the NPCs will be doing. They will be somewhere in the city, and they will be questioning you as pairs. If they address you, you must respond and answer their questions. Aside from this, no other conversation is allowed between the NPCs and travelers. Okay. This is what you will be doing. Wander the city of Moravos, and please stay together as pairs. You may talk, talk among yourselves or with other travelers. If you are questioned by the NPCs, you must answer their questions truthfully, except the princes who will lie. Tonight's princes will be played by someone I choose. You know he doesn't pick people who volunteer. Yep. <laughs> Equalization, you spoke. Who is your partner? Oh, no. Me and <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh yeah. How many? You want to be a prince? The old man 1000. You are playing the princes. That means you are lying tonight. My friends, no role-playing is necessary. You are answering questions about your real life. You may not give any indication whatsoever about who the princes are. Princes, you may attempt to hide from the NPCs, but this may come across as suspicious. You will all have ten minutes to roam the city of Moravos. At the end of this time, you will hear the town bell. Please come and find me. The NPCs will privately discuss which pair they think were playing as the princes and lying. Your goal is to keep the prince's identities secret. Those who are opting out, please follow me. Everybody else, your time starts now. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Right. Strategy. Let's explore, bro. Right? We have a mission. Yeah, right. 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 Sticking around. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully we don't get questioned by anyone. It seems the city guards have had an upgrade. Back here in these corners, friends, you will not be questioned back here. <laughs> no. Get out. You shall not pass. Are you going to message us when it starts, or I have to start with you? What? We're starting, yes. Okay. I forgot to tell them. Whoopsie doodle.
The city sure looks overgrown. Wait, this is a block area. No, right. not jumping down there. Don't jump down. Don't jump down. No? No. Oh. I can't go that way. Alright. <laughs> Why is any little cool nooks and crannies? Just take a selfie with the funny rock to become instantly more funny. Yeah, pretty much. That's our end point when we're done. And then we have a giant hole that you can't jump down, so don't worry about it. You can't jump down in here if you want to. That is so brutal. The first question he asks is, are you guys a pair? That's actually so smart, though. I will be roaming. Please remain here, friends. Yep. Vibs, ah, where's oh, your so partner? Where, where did... It, she was just here just a second ago. Literally right here. Oh, she got distracted. This is... Uh, this is the... Uh, don't hang out over here. Dead end, sort of. Kind of oh, it's a dead end? Well, all the... Uh, Make sure you question everyone here. NPCs. What's that? Are oh, no. Oh, Make sure you question everyone. I see. You gotta accuse them all, as they say. The bricks back mm. Oh! Yeah. This oh, we can jump down there. After all, people have to have... You <laughs> should just... That's just a pet. <laughs> you know, no, I... I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. It seems... It seems pretty... Think of uh, it. It's the vo It's the call of the void. You zoney one answer? No, I, I, I don't... I, I don't answer to the you call know, of the void. Sorry, that's not... Kai is making a really good <laughs> argument, though. The void is... You, well, how do you know if there's anything down? Voidy. Think about it. It might be a good old pile of treasure. You, it might you be just nothingness. Mm -hmm. uh, or it might I, mean, I don't know. How about you make a mistake you once? <laughs> okay. Oh. Wait, is there an invisible wall? <laughs> there oh, we can't. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's just our consciousness telling us not to jump into a damn pit. hole. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Nice. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> oh, oh, You're really oh, trying to hard oh. to just fall in a hole. Play huh? space mover. Play space mover. Play space mover. Giant. <laughs> there no, Jesus. you can't. It's a thick there is no pit. It's an optical illusion. Optical illusion. This is the optical illusion. The trick like you learn is actually it's like the Indiana Jones thing. These are the sort you know, of tricks that, that you learn, you know, once you're... Oh, <laughs> yes, of course, except, you know, it's a bit too real for me, this stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to be, you know... Uh, oh, I get it, it's a you glass floor, that's why, it's actually that's why. Really, really well-maintained glass. Well, maybe you're crazy. Mm -hmm. I can fix the leaves, say nothing about this. I'm just going to walk to smack someone's head into it. That's true. Say nothing. What, what happened yeah, over there? Thing or two about that. Did you like it questions already? Oh yes, we got the question. Apparently I, one of the questions was, what was the year of that last dying wish? And I said, um, oh, oh. No, the very, was the very first question they asked you, are you two a pair? Mm. Yes. That's so brutal. That's oh, so brutal. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't is a good question. Was, was on some Think about it, because the twins have to lie. The brothers have to lie. That's so oh, yeah. evil. They shouldn't ask super obvious questions. Well, like that. here's the thing. 
You don't have to call yourselves a pair. Really? Maybe there you can use synonyms to differentiate. Are you a pair? No. We see pair. ourselves We're as allies. more of a collection. We're We're just more of allies. Together. More like brothers. I don't see us as pairs. We're, We're, We're the family. We're the Grub Squad. Deeper connection. Team Grub. <laughs> the team Grub. Oh, so <laughs> continue wandering in McDonald's. random direction. Is, uh... Excuse me. Dead in that way. You guys are just living in the alley, huh? Mm. Good to know. Exactly. You see nothing. Uh, let's listen. You know, property tax, how the housing market. I get it. You know, it's tough times. You know. It is. Can't get a decent house. It really is. There, I put a down payment. Guess what happened? They to took it away immediately. Here. I said, "What for? <laughs> Where my right. money went?" And they said, "Ah, uh, you know, you we lost it in a ship, so flying in the middle of the fucking ocean." <laughs> God damn. I uh. Uh, sweet. Let us move along. Uh, that is a big horse. Oh, oh okay. Bye bye, everybody. Yep. Oh. Just break noise. Just break noise things. And. Hmm. J Monkey, Curlon, I have one question for the both of you. Okay. What type of item would you bring with you to a deserted island? Swiss Army knife. Radio? <laughs> Hello, Ren. All right. Hello. Thank you for your answer. Carry on. He knows I'm an Eagle Scout, shibby, so shibby, shibby, shibby. that is very much an honest answer. Oh. How are things going here in the Cool Kids Corner? Uh, uh, it's alright. Uh... Yeah. Sudden release there. of gas. I agree. <coughs> oh, it is chaos out there. Lots of saucy barkers. So now we've got to find the key. Yeah, we need to find the key for the forbidden book zealots. Yeah, we need to find the key for the. That's that's our next goal next week. We need to find the key for the. Okay, McSellers. next week we've yeah. got to find yeah. the key for McSellers. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the... oh right. God. Hmm. What are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to get myself stuck. What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. 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 There's oh. 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 Oh, uh, 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 the key to the key 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 Yeah, they, 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 I mean, it is the forbidden McZellots, oh. so, you know, in this this stage, it might be fair. It might be fair for to get okay, to the forbidden McZellots. Yeah, it's the that, forbidden alley. That's a forbidden horrible alien. way to, to market the forbidden alley. I, I understand, but it's the free <laughs> look. I, I was told it was the forbidden alley and the mix, and it's and and we, we we thought the McDonald's was down there, but it was actually the McZellots. And my partner is gone. He's that way. Oh, my. I, well. It's the fancy bell. Time for the reckoning. Fancy bell. Go from the other side over there. Yeah. I don't think it's time for the punishment. We'll have to wait for another day. Ah, the punishment. I can't hold it up. Okay. The NPCs are gonna sit. All right. I like to order Taco Supreme with two liter cup. Yeah. Praise Varna and all that. Praise Varna. Praise Varna. And make sure to put the ketchup on the side. I don't like it all. I don't think they're angry. They're angry. They're angry. I ordered a Sprite. The Sprite is better than any orange slice. Except cream soda. Cream soda is off. I want a 10 piece confession. I want it. The secret code is because we find big zealots. <laughs> it's really weird how hard it is to find a McDonald's. Ten piece Maybe the McZillots are the friends we found yeah. we found along the way. <laughs> be an entertainer. Oh, exactly. <laughs> 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 Redact the whole audio. I need some kind of like. Friends and travelers, make sure you can hear me. Currently, the NPCs are comparing findings and coming up with their accusation. 
objection. One of them is in the meantime, menacingly. I have a riddle for you. Ooh. What is, what is that? black, white, and brown? And cannot be set on fire. Uh, me after I've had you? some ribs. Black, white, and brown. Black, white, brown, brown cannot, brown cannot brown be set on fire. Black, white, and newspaper brown. covered in diarrhea. Fire. Ashes. The city. Um, poop. The city we're in, because it's all brick. This would actually like make some serious concerns for the city. Ashes is actually good. Brick. Brick. Oh, oh, give me whatever this brown involved. Oh, yeah. Anything you want, baby. That's a good answer. I only got white and brown on me. Sorry. Anything? Black, brown, and brown. What's the last one? Boom. Black, white, and brown cannot be set on fire. Black, white, and brown cannot be set on fire. Terracotta is usually just a red. Don't worry, we will eventually reach McZellots. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and brown. Who knows? We might do this. We might do this week. I know. Do you think so? A brick. Well, we also have the bar. We can get a drink from McZellots. Hmm. Oh, that's genius! I want to get to the milk salad special. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Big play boobs. Big play boobs. Uh, no. <laughs> Panda one. I can't. Oh man. The milk salad special. We, you know how we need. We need to like, get the forbidden milk salad like before we even get our orders, Panda. Like the... Like the, oh, no. Wait, Elman, how flammable are you? That's why we're going to do it at Chains Bar. We're going to get whatever we want. Yeah, yeah, the flammable. This armor is pretty protective on that regard. That jacket's probably. Want to test it? Yeah, just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't burn this thing. This is a brand. This is part of my look. Me with both. You said you're not burnable. Therefore, we must try it. We can't get a meal. We can try it. I'm well. Equalization said the, that more than likely my get ratings for the devil. Devil. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, this, this is awesome. I mean, okay, so I would like you know, a McZellet soda. I need to eat my own children and I don't want more to go back to spawn. Guide them. That's it. I couldn't think of that. What's that name? Let's see. Oh, I'm playing Sean you know, hmm. uh, I'm not. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to fight. Yeah. I mean, it kind of makes go. sense that it can absolutely Little be Zellers. set on fire. Oh, yeah. Little Zellers. My friends, <laughs> travelers, <laughs> your attention, please. As for the riddle, I think I like a legit Jake's answer best. But let's get on with the tour. NPCs, oh, Diarmid, Metal Gen. Who do you think are the princes? Alazu and company. Alazu, who Good were one. you with? Sumaka. Ah, yes. Alazu and Sumakao. An interesting accusation, but is it accurate? Will those who are playing the prince please come forth and do a dance? <laughs> With the real princess screams, oh. please stand up. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> That was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dance with me, old man. Dance with me. Got dabbed on. Nice <laughs> try. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Not today. I was fucking My stressful. friends, the story continues. <laughs> this quest has come to a close. This is what happens. Okay. <clears throat> As he walks across Moravos, the prince tries to shrink back into his own cloak. His brother strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do it? Every Moravian looks at them, stares at them. Do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on a bridge. He looks past him. A city watchman is there, talking to an elderly couple across the bridge. 
the guard's back is to them. The brother backs up and guides them another way. The prince glances over at the old couple. He can see the old woman looking at him. She points the guard in the opposite direction. And the prince smiles. A short while later, the prince stops. What is that noise? Grinding. Rumbling. A storm. No. Not again. Not again. Oh, no. I'll blame you. An image <laughs> rushes up from the depths, <laughs> rising to meet him. Amidst vague, towering structures, a blue bird flits, darting from corner to corner, desperate, giving pursuit is a red feline stalking calmly yet appearing in places where it should not be the bird is frantic its movements urgent and panicked it tries to stay silent yet every beat of its wings betrays its location everything begins to redden My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options, four ways in which he can respond to this vision. Descend, divulge, dwell, and distract. I will give you all no more than two minutes to discuss what you think he should do. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you to offer an answer. Your time begins now. Another one. Mm. 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 I think I I'm going to descend even oh. further into the madness. Keep going down. Yeah, down all day down. I just tried to get to the We haven't been expanding yet, so this might be a past the detail. We've got to order the mushrooms. That's what we've got to do. Descend. Here, anyway. uh, I was down for in Hollywood, so we have to decide. <laughs> I know we did dwell on one. All right. Yeah. Or should we wait and just? Oh, she well, sounds like a decision. Yeah, do a decision. What's the decision? Well, at the very uh, end. Descend. Mm. But Descend. Too much about that. Right. Mm. Yeah. Distract. You said yeah, we'll try the detaching. The different. Person. We should double down. Uh, <laughs> At this point, yeah. Well, I can't think of a time when going, going down didn't know, solve a problem. You know what this reminds me of so much? It's just my kid. I don't know why, but these stories remind me so much. Hopefully, of, um, something breaks. Yeah, but that one had me. I've officially been all three roles in this you know particular quest. All kinds of different little paths and such. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I kept replaying that game a hundred times. Yeah. Nice. And I played Doki Doki for all. I was at least successful as the prince. I just, I had no other game. Somehow. Because I'm poor. Can we go for the... I mean, we have yet for the NPCs. Yeah, it's not for sure, sure but the armored vision is. is I ask for your attention. Discussion. The time for discussion is over. Thank you. Chip Elope, do you speak? I do. We descend. Mm. Yes. We descend. <clears throat> Here we go. Spoken with such confidence. <laughs> well, my friends. This is what happens. The prince dives deeper into the vision. He remains among the strange structures. The red intensifies, and with it comes an unnatural warmth. It glows 
It rises. It burns. It burns. It burns! Uh-huh. Hey, are you all right? <laughs> the brother is holding the prince's shoulders. More visions. You know you shouldn't let them get you so much. You need your strength. We're almost... The brother suddenly yanks the prince down behind a stone fence. I saw. The brother's face is white. The Inquisitor. He... He didn't see us, I think. Okay. He's gone. This way. I know someone who might be able to help us. The brother takes the prince to a nearby house, checks the street, then knocks on the door. Moments later, the door creaks ajar and an elderly man peers out. He says but one word. You. And he glances beyond them, his expression grave. The prince shrinks back. How bold that you would show up on my doorstep. His mouth twists and he sniffs once. I had a feeling you might appear, he says. Then the wrinkles on his face deepen as he smiles. He opens the door wide and invites them inside. My friends, let us follow them. Let us. Your man to get some it's candy. It's cute seeing how much Shaja <laughs> enjoys his toys. What kind no, of candy? It's not Hubert. It's so these. Oh my god. Run now. So are we setting the place oh, up again? Thank you. Afraid of the fire sign this time? Well, I they don't call me Toy Chain for nothing. Maybe. 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 What? What's my name? Nothing. <coughs> Old paintings sit crooked upon the walls. The cobwebs collect dust in the corners. But the home is sturdy, and the cold is kept at bay. And the prince feels a little more at ease. The old man makes his way to a stall with the help of his cane. The prince notices a glimmering sword displayed on the mantel above the fireplace. Come, the old man says, holding up a jug. You must be thirsty. The brother accepts a cup. This is wine, he says. Of course, it'll ease your troubles. Go on. The brother takes a sip, as does the prince. It tastes bad. It bites at his tongue. But there's a hint of fruit. The old man drinks straight from the jug. So, he says, I suppose you're here to tell me the full story. You've heard from the zealots, then? asks the brother. You think a retired veteran like me gets all his information from a single source? I heard them say that you murdered the Oracle and fought your way out of the castle. You even attacked the Silver Indus. But that's not all true, is it? Actually, 
The brother looks down into his wine. The oracle is dead, but it wasn't me or my brother. And I did attack the Aegis. I had to. The veteran has another swig of wine, swills it, and regards the brother with a long look. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what's going to happen next, don't you? Once word gets out that both royal heirs are missing, traitors or no, Dacia is going to advance again. They're cunning. They'll take advantage of this predicament, just like they did at Lake Fort, where this all started. I'd wager it won't be long till they take Felden. That place has been a pit since the Baron was killed, what, a decade ago? And I hear they've already started infiltrating those old walls. Dacia. Lake Fort. The brother's knuckles go away. But we can't get back to the castle. The Inquisitor is too powerful. He's gone mad. So you want me to face him? <laughs> Young sire, I may have been the best swordsman in a Lazarus in my day, but with all due respect, that is madness. You haven't read the Crimson Vanguard? That man is capable of terrifying things. Then, the brother glances at the prince for a moment. What do we do? Who can help us? Who else is there? The smile gently leaves the veteran's face. Best I can do, young sires, is get you out of the walls. He gets up using his cane making his way back across the dusty stone floor. Back during your grandfather's reign, we had tunnels built beneath Moravos. Most were narrow and used for emergencies, but some were large enough that there were houses down there, cut into the stone. Given that you're here, it seems you used one to escape. But there are many more. I'm likely the last one alive who knows where every entrance can be found. And of course, what sort of tactician would I be if I didn't have my own personal escape? Help me move this, would you? The brothers assist, and behind a wooden cabinet is an old door. This leads to the underworks the veteran says. There may be others down there looking for you, but it's dark. You should just be able to leave. Just cross the cistern and you'll come out near the eastern road. My thanks. The brother opens the door and guides the prince in before him. And I'm sorry. Sorry? Nonsense! It'll take much more than a strike from you to slow her down. I don't mean for her. The brother grabs the cane from the veteran and strikes him across the legs with it. The old man cries out and topples backward, and the brother <coughs> pulls the cabinet back in place behind him. My friends this way. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> what? It was caught. Hey. Uh, no! I wanted to be on the... sauce. Yo, we're cuddling. Did I stutter? Did you? No. <laughs> oh, the God. air down here is musty, stifling. Somewhere in the distance, water trickles. 
and dribbles. <coughs> Rodents dance along the remnants of what look to be underground buildings. What is this place? Why is there a city beneath the city? Faint patches of light leaking through from somewhere above reveal the path ahead. I'm sorry you had to see that, the brother says. The prince can't make out his face in the low light. The Inquisitor has to think that we forced our way in. I just... But the brother doesn't finish. He begins to walk. My friends, this way. Dun 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 parkour, yay! Yeah, fuck your parkour. Oh boy, here we go again. Parkour, parkour! Jumping parkour! I made it! Jumping parkour! No, this can't be popped! I needed myself three point four. That was amazing. Oh shit! Oh man, it's not we made it. Oh, oh you man. fucker. Oh. This is Jeremy's fault. You know, I knew I should have played that Tomb Raider game. Fucking You're right. I didn't even mess up. I, I, I messed up on you? purpose to see if whoop, I could cheat, whoop, and I whoop, couldn't whoop, cheat. Whoop, 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 whoop. There you go. First. They accounted for the my even I can't anywhere. do this. I teleport Where behind you. Nothing personnel could. A button. But yeah, there's a lot of answers yeah. that are possible. I would take stick civilization to a deserted stick. island. Ah, that makes sense. You, you do have a point. Checkmate, atheist. Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> where would you get power to run on the computer to play Civilization? And uh, which and one you know would you do. bring? Or the whole yeah, okay, I know what to do. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, yeah, give me a second. Yeah, no, I didn't second. Okay. <laughs> Please stay. One. Okay, it's been a second. I'm just going to... My friends, it okay, appears right. that we are all here. At this point in the story, we have a designated break for you. Oh. Have a snack, rehydrate, and use the restrooms if you need to. There are trees and bushes over there. Please be back for the story to continue in four minutes. I'll see you all oh, soon. Four minutes. Nice break. Oh, four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, campfire, yeah, yeah. campfire songs. Don't look, I need to go use the restroom. Uh -huh. Look, you joke about that, but yeah. if Drew yeah. Tag was here, we would 100% be doing it. <laughs> S O U P S O M G machine is not here to do No, 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 we need soup. Who's soup? Do we have soup? I need soup. No, Polygon will mind change the size of the avatar. I gotta go. It's not a retraining anymore. Hold on. I have to re upload soup. I gotta get soup. Give me a second. No, we don't have soup. Oh, wait, do you have soup? Oh my god. Ah, can we eat the god? Where were some of Why are you trying to stare okay. at the butt of a turkey? Cool. No, we're just. No, this is. I missed soup. another so gathering of a soup cult. So, is that the SNL? Yes, yes, can we eat the god of a turkey? Yes, yes, you did. I was grabbing my yeah. chips. That's Damn, how will I ever be accepted by Soup Messiah now? Okay. 
Never I don't like being in a bag. Oh my god. I don't even know how Yo, to do that. So yes, congratulations. What about you, what about you Jay? Congratulations, you like Nikoma. You have witnessed the... Uh, why are you putting tradition? Uh, 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 person uh, space or something. I don't want to put a vote that we may have to put equalization down. I think he's lost it. Fucking uh, shit. What? Uh, I've never, like, are we just going to put him in the seat? Put him in the seat. Okay, you're right. No, 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 put him down. As in... Oh, wait, no. For our Lord and Savior. Get in there, get in there. Get in there. Get in the Get in the seat. Flavoring of mushroom soup is there again. So everybody has a bad experience with it. It's rarely that you get a good experience. It's a cream of mushroom. It's a You just don't appreciate You have to be in the soup club to understand the type of shit or a place or tomato. I don't think this is the soup Panda, why didn't you stop in the soup store? We just yell soup 5,000 times around a soup, you know? I don't like this kind of shit anymore. Why were you buying clothes at the soup store? Go to the soup store. Why were you buying clothes? I feel scared. Next section. Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. If we don't let him do I can hide inside the fence. Okay, now I see the avatar. Stop it! Thank you, my friends. Stop. You're right, guys. It's over. Oh no. You know what that means. Oh. Stop it! Can I still order it Cheetos? Means the story continues. No. Poggers. Yay. It's after sundown by the time the brothers emerge. The Underworks Tunnel led them to an old mill, and from there they followed to trails until coming up on the Eastern Road. Maravos blooms in the distance, gently glowing in the moonlight as the prince slumps to the ground. His legs and feet ache, his stomach growls, he is tired and sore and short on breath. His brother is just checking through a bag he's carrying. How does he do it? How does he keep going? Can't we go back? The prince bites his lip. He didn't mean to say that aloud. Go back. The brother lifts his head. Go back and what? Face the fireborn? He'll kill you, and then he'll lock me away or kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the oracle chose him, and nobody could disagree. The Varna Church will change forever. Mother will be powerless to stop him. And then... And then Daisha will invade. And the people will have to live under one of two rulers. We're not going back. Not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor. And while I search, I'm going to stop the Dacians. We'll go to Felden and warn them. We'll help defend the town. I'll kill every Dacian if I have to. We can't. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake port. Do you hear me? We still stop. 
Stop. Stop it. You're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just... It's just you and me. There's nobody else who can save us now. It's just us. Prince says nothing. What can he say? Listen. His brother squats before him. I'm scaring you. I see that. I don't like to see you so afraid. But... Do you remember when we were younger and we found that nest in the old town we spotted the mother bird a blue wing coming back to feed her chicks that evening we even named them too dusty scylla and pickle <laughs> yes pickle little pickle and then the cat found the nest. The mother bird fought fiercely, but... You asked me why it happened. Do you remember what I said? Vana is kind. Life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. There's a cat after them. If the birds aren't in the nest, then the mother can fly to safety, and the cat can't reach her. But this cat, this cat is sly. It's going to try and trick other animals into helping it. So the little birds might have to do some things that seem bad, so that they don't get eaten. They have to, well, learn to fly, perhaps. Or find another cat who will help them. The prince nods slowly. He can see how hard it is for his brother. He doesn't want to do the things he's doing. He has to. They need to survive. He wants to reach out for his brother to hug him. But he cannot bring himself to move. We can go through the Duke's world, the brother says, standing. It will be dangerous, but it's the fastest way to Felden. Do you still have my... The brother stops and looks down. The prince is holding him tight. <laughs> hey, it's all right. Look, when this is over, we will sail to Odysseus, the sacred lands. We'll go together, just you and me. Would you like that? The prince wipes his face. Odysseus? Really? Do you swear? The brother smiles, and the world gets a little brighter. I swear. My friends, the brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross the Duke's world in the dark of night. They're going to need your help. This way. My goodness. <clears throat> Oh, oh no. Spooky. 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 <laughs> we have to go in there. Hmm. 
So. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Alright. What are we? Well, oh, yes. No, we're the with as long the as the collective conscious or celeb collective subconscious that screams at each other. If you say this, oh, yeah. Yeah. and make sure well, we don't have an answer for that. that. Yes, and make. I asked That's for your attention. I heard somebody ask if there will be jump scares. Let's just say there are no jump scares scripted, but if you're faint of heart, mm -hmm. the phantom may get you. Mm. Excellent. NPCs, oh, yeah. Metal Gen, and Diamond, please come forth. Change into your avatars now for this quest. <laughs> Friends, oh, go please make sure you it. still have their avatars shown, especially Diamond. Dear God, he's red. Wait, where's the um, uh -oh. <laughs> Where is he? He's right in front of us. Oh, 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 oh wait. Sniper cube. <laughs> oh, I, I was looking for another one Please of those. Go to the next area and follow your quest B instructions. Everyone else, stay here. <coughs> wait, you... The Duke's will at night is not a safe haven but it does bear resources that they may need on their journey as such the rules for your quest are as follows navigate your way through the duke's world which according to legend is haunted collect as many resources as you can each traveler each of you has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to locate Hmm. Hmm. Avoid the Duke's World Phantom. Its terror will render you immobile for several seconds if it touches you. This will cost you valuable time. The Phantom can teleport to any Phantom Fire at any point in time, so you must stay alert. Hmm. You are being observed. Hmm. Please avoid using avatars that are really tiny or really large, or invisible. Once you have completed your mission, you can either make your way to the end where I will be waiting for you, or stay behind to act as a distraction for the Phantom. Please do not use teleportation shortcuts while partaking in this quest. After your five minute timer expires, all these resources will disappear, and you will be escorted to the end of the maze. I will take a moment to make sure the NPCs are ready. Alright. Seems I don't pretty like this camping trip anymore. Easy enough, you know? Pac-Man, if it were, uh, I do Mario like to Party eat Man myself yet. some berries, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saying yeah. my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And with the exact <laughs> opposite <laughs> vibe of our party <laughs> game. Oh. Oh, our Why are you not unconscious yet? Yeah. Your time starts now. Wait, what? Dad, you don't want to fucking cease to be living? I really bummed there. <laughs> One wood, two wood, three wood, four. Uh, sometimes I feel like I can't go anymore. What is that? Panda, why are you so Panda. ugly? Wait, go. Because your mum, lol. <laughs> oh, okay, alright. Uh, that's what that was. Yep.
That is the phantom. I see. Yes. Two berries, one pick. Whew. Three berries. Two. Two sticks. No. Three berries, three sticks. Oh no. Hmm. Okay, it's not going that way. Logs be on the ground and berries in the trees. Okay, there now. Oh, there's the fifth berry. Three berries, three sticks. There we go. Five, three sticks. One, three. Mm. Oh, other more. How do we know how many things we have? Uh, you gotta keep count. Four logs. I lost count. That's leaving the quest again. No, no, no. No, no, no. I lost count. How do we know? Oh, no. Oh, sticks. Dang it. Okay, okay I have no panda. Oh, he just got spawned in me. I just got spawned in yeah! <laughs> Hello. He goes to stall longer. Okay, yes. That's not terrifying, terrifying at all. <laughs> I don't... It's slightly terrifying. Slightly mm. terrifying, that's right. I almost hit myself. Mm. Oh. I need some more logs. More logs. There's more. a goose following us. Why is there a goose? I don't know. I I mean, did you just count? I have five and five. Oh, we got oh is it five and five? Uh, uh, yeah, How five each. You have to make sure you count yourself. Not. There's no indicator. Uh, but it, what, what was the number that he said was the... Uh, that was the Well, either way, the arrows will appear in a few seconds. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're done, there. so... There we go. Yeah. Oh, they're over. Oh, there we go. What was... What was... Things up. Damn Just it. to taunt me. Just to taunt me. <coughs> Damn it. Fuck oh, there now. Okay. He did one of... Apologies, I was finishing the quest. I didn't hear any of that. Oh, I was saying, like, maybe we could, uh, 
Yeah, you know, make it to where whenever you click an item, it appears everything. that you're, you know, fast travel menu. Oh, this, so like an inventory oh, path, like how it was with shade. Don't grab my stuff. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Is that all common? No, it's, it's, it's for my own difficulty. Cool. I thought oh, I had 5 and 5 until the end, and then I got 5 and 5 because I found out I was going to have 4 and 5. I had 4 and 5. I had 5 and 5. This time I like 4 and 5. So, did you guys find the other thing? Could I substitute my bear for you with some grapes? I have one grape on me. Can I count as a I think the game has started to realize that I'm not a baby, so it's been giving me a lot of tryhard survivors. I was face to face with Elman. Oh, yeah. Once you once you get your uh, survive, like persona level to 120, like you start getting the Tesseract. Persona. I think. Oh, the Tesseract yeah, stares yeah, back yeah, if you stare too long. Yeah, it's too gorgeous. The Tesseract doesn't uh, stare back. Flowing. Everything stares back. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, God, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> the story stares back, it's oh no. It's like looking <laughs> backwards oh, at your own mind. What the fuck? Maybe you just deserve it. Maybe you just lucky. Shut up! Yes, let's restart. Okay, alright, let's rejoin. You will eventually come to realize that you get into your own brain. Wait a moment. I was yeah. gonna say, you eventually oh, realize you're just ugly as shit, but you know, that's good too. Got the panda, no! Did you have the stare in your eyes in a mirror long yeah. enough, your face starts distorting? Yeah, yeah. I have heard about that. Explain this. I did that for a long time and I realized that my, my face is already just ugly as shit. Going it didn't change at all. <laughs> I feel not. You brought some, right? For the whole class, right? Underneath uh, changing your device. Uh, I forget the exact uh, number we were trying to go for, but I think we got at least four, maybe five void. Not for the whole class. She knows. What happened to Sheen? This is not a thing. We're dropping like a lot of up for me. We're missing a man made mm -hmm. black slab. Doesn't well, look like you need anything. Need anything. You know, you know, you know, I believe, I believe they've gone to go talk with Panda or something like that. I was trying so hard to get a good speech out of you. Yes. Panda's still in the world. You can die right back at you. You should do it right now if you want. Unless they died. They might have died. I mean, I did. Are you sure you want to try it? I did get a good one. What numbers were we in? Send it to me so I can send it to Dolly because she wanted to. Five and five is the easiest you can do. Oh, okay. Yeah, five of both. That was her response. I got five and five. You're in cell three. I got five and five. You also just did like a full like Don't worry about it. Just you know, it's the elbow. The elbow does a full three sixty. It's quadruple joint. Yes. What happened again? Who's casting a giant flame storm? Thank you for letting me see. What do you think? Oh, maybe the guy who has the giant flame sword. Surely it couldn't be the person who's on fire. Sorry, I didn't mean to burn the forest down. Sorry. Stop calling me Shirley. Nobody's on fire. Fire, you say? Pyromaniacness. Pyromaniacness. Wait, that hurt your eye socket? Because you're wearing shades already. Who has eye socket? No, but I'm trying to be concerned for everyone else. Do you see that you should bony and bone wearing a... Dude, I just got a... Oh, are they going for everybody's like berries and wood list and all that? Ah, okay, makes sense. I went to like oh, 9 hours right here. Yeah, you can see them now. Whoa! Down from the 1930s. I'm sitting back down. I mean, you can show everyone for the photo. Should I change my avatar then? No, no, no. Oh, and your avatar's yeah. brilliant. By the way. It's made by my friend Leon. <laughs> yeah. I've gone to their world. Their avatars are really good. second player, you sound like crash. <laughs> I know. I don't yeah, know. I just feel like Pina Colada. But they haven't been online in VR chat. Windows was like, oh, oh, this is amazing. Oh, yeah, that's right. There Apparently, Sheen was affected by this loneliness too. So we're waiting for yeah. our favorite cube. Oh, there's a whole section over there. I didn't know that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 I was. I went that Hi. like that. The quest is over, and we mm -hmm. are all finally gathered mm -hmm. together. I suppose you'll want to know mm -hmm. how well you did this time. As a group, you collected an average of 8.5 resources per person. Ooh, nice. Okay. I like those options. Awesome. better than last week. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Wow. Nice. Yeah. We are resourceful. We find the many berries. Oh, yeah. and yeah. with that, friends, the story will continue. The brothers come to a clearing. A steep river cuts through the middle of it. Nearby, moss-covered bricks sit, indifferent as the forest slowly consumes them. The boys drink and refill their flasks and wash their faces. The prince catches a glimpse of himself in the glittering water. He barely recognizes this face. He looks unkempt, disheveled, common. He pulls his cloak in tight and sits back. We can rest here tonight, the brother says, gathering some sticks together. The prince watches as his brother soon has a small fire burning. He lies down beside it as his brother sits against an old piece of masonry. The prince stares at the fire. The flames stare back. His face is warm, but his back is cold. How does he do it? The prince thinks to himself. How does he keep going like this? I just want to hide. He's good at everything. I'm not good at anything. The past few days to catch up to him. And within minutes, he slips into a deep sleep. <gasps> oh! oh. Damn it, oh. Again. Uh -huh. Crap basket, not this again. This is new. Wait. Ooh. She did it hmm. oh. oh, I didn't do anything. An image yeah. rushes up from the depths, Ooh. rising to meet him. Yeah, Across a twilit meadow, a pack of black wolves bound, long grass whipping by. They are on the hunt, following a scent on the cool wind. But the hunters are also hunted, for something else stirs the grass. And even though it evades the eyes, its presence can be felt. Mm. A sense of something imminently wrong a feeling that things are not how they should be. <laughs> a shadow in pursuit. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, <coughs> dwell, distract. You have it's two minutes game. to discuss what you think he should do. Oh my God. Your time begins now. I Might as well descend, go three for three. Putting three on descend. I hope I get my money. So this is rather exciting. That is distracting. Oh, really? 
It's the yeah, same. So, right. it's it's the genuinely same. lasting it's double it's 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 The gamer in me says three descendants in a row isn't the gameplay, but so far, so I think mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's another. The gamer in me. That's just gamer in me, not logic. The gamer in me. I just I just think we should speed run. Go faster. I'm thinking we should probably divulge the information to the brother. I think that might be a good idea. Like, uh, descending like, seems to further hey. the actual uh, scene Is itself, so... Fun. I thought that I thought that evolved was... I thought that I thought that evolved was... No, 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 there is the issue the other times we tried to divulge, the prince said nothing of value, and, and the brother disregarded it. This is also the first time we just like, uh, they make a situation. I want to ascend with what's in reality. So we don't know if it would help this time. Because the last time that we divulged about it. He's saying the same just for the shits and giggles. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Stop mocking him, pack lover. The time for discussion has ended. Vevs, you have been chosen. Oh boy. What will the prince do? Oh, this is a tough one. Um. Wouldn't matter. You I'm gonna say divulge. That was divulge. Yes. Very well. This is what happens. Maybe these are red herrings, I don't know. But I see blue. Mm -hmm. The prince tries to look for his brother. But he isn't here. I must be dreaming. He tries to wake himself. He focuses inward. Bring me back. Bring me back. I have to wake up. Interesting. Oh no. Mm. Hmm. Ah, my fire Sickle. comes to fruition. Sickle, you burn everything. <laughs> no. The prince is shaken awake. The sky is a soft blue-gray, and the brother is crouched over him, looking at something else. There are voices nearby. The prince rubs his eyes and turns to look. Across the river are soldiers in black, carrying spears and swords, with foreign emblems on their shields. They're pushing a cart through the clearing. Dacians, the brother whispers, gritting his teeth. Either they're besieging Felden, or they've already taken it. Hmm. Maybe I can find their camp, find their general, and... He looks down at the prince, his expression softening. Let's get a closer look. We need to know what they're up to. They gather their things, scoop dirt over charcoal, and prepare to make their way carefully across the river to the other side of the clearing. My friends, the Dacians are dangerously close. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Continues the trend. Divulge does not. Perhaps divulge is the last.
much. Just mm. Dad's gotta go <laughs> catch the plane. Yeah. We do the right sequence. In the dream, which mm. Mm. Maybe. Uh, no. We definitely need to gather more information from that vision, though. A little bit of control? Mm. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah, but we've yet well. to see that happen. The brothers hired in the undergrowth. The outer walls of Felden loom over the trees, scarred by past battles, defaced by nature. There's a large gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small gate. They're taking supplies inside. So Felden has already been taken by Dacia. Maybe they were already here and didn't need any distractions. There are too many of them, the brother whispers. But maybe... The brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself a little higher. The prince's heart jumps. What's he doing? Is he going to run in and just fight them all? How are they not seeing him? When the gate is clear, run inside and hide in the town. I'll find you. What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? I... I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. There are at least seven of them left after the rest went inside with a handcart. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock into one hand and waits. And without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a soldier and it strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry and yelling and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving back between the trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give chase. Two remain and they seem hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction everyone went. Wait, his brother's sword. He might need it, but it's too late. He unsheathes it just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Who's there? The prince looks up. The two soldiers are coming his way. He must have made some noise. He freezes and holds his breath. His blood begins to drain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. Lose interest. Turn around. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Please. Hey. There's somebody in the trees. No. The prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. He hears Dacians yelling after him, thudding through the underbrush. Go away, stop following me. Around a tree, under a log, over a rock, through tall grass. Are they getting closer or further away? He cannot tell. He keeps running and running and slips suddenly on running ground. And then... The ground vanishes. The forest rises up, careening overhead as he topples into ice-cold waters. My friends, please follow me. <laughs> that tickled. I'm starting to wonder what... Oh dear. Mm-hmm. What am I looking at here? here? Oh my god, it's Captain oh, Panda! I'm inside of you! Yeah. I can see Good your job. gorgons! Uh, well, oh gorgons. you were inside Captain Panda? Your gorgon. Hello? She's <laughs> you! <laughs> Medusa's here? Jeez, I'm just out of my beauty pole. <laughs> <coughs> I see your tiny little bag. The prince comes to her. 
Something is pulling on his legs. He opens his eyes to see a mangy dog trying to drag him by the ankle. He panics and kicks at it. And not expecting retaliation, it darts away with a yelp. The prince takes in his surroundings. He's inside a town, right by the water's edge, utterly soaked. He shivers and sits up. Everything hurts. He looks up, up at the town's structures and the sword. Oh no, where is his brother's sword? He looks left and right and into the water. It's not here. He gets to his feet and with nowhere else to go, heads into the town of Felden. This way, friends. Chapter four. Yeah. All right. Well, there's gonna oh, be Omni didn't a fell. path that ends up with him having the sword. <coughs> well, at least he didn't make the guy made oh, like five months ago. Not had the sword too. So far, no. Who's so running ahead? Oh, I didn't feel that. No, I'm coming up on the road. Uh, on the ledge up here. Thinking if he doesn't draw it. Yeah. I barely can't. Yeah, like, stand up here. Just barely. Yeah, 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 is there a hurricane? Or are you yeah, exhaling? Yeah. I want to stand. Probably, right? Right. All right, good balance. I'm balancing on my heels. Mm, I know. The prince hears commotion ahead. There's a line of people with wooden balls outside a door. He can see Dacian soldiers inside, giving out the same amount of food to each person. Next in line is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Please, kind sirs, if I may, I would like a little more than usual. My dear canine friend, his name is Riot, you see. He's going hungry. He's all skin and bones. Please, sirs. Hey, that's not fair, says the townsman right behind her. Where did she get more? Peace, peace, offers the soldier. He regards the elderly woman carefully. Fine. Have extra. But just this once. Oh, bless you. Vana, bless you. And here, the soldier adds, offering a wooden stick. Seems like you're having trouble walking. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away, wanting to distance himself from this scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself quietly. They didn't do anything wrong. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and tries to move around them, but they block his exit. He peers up at them carefully. Wait, those faces. Well, look who we have here. Zealots. The prince feels panic bubble up inside him. He wants to shout for help, but there are so many people about. It would turn into a fight. There's no guarantee the Dacians would help him. Innocents will get hurt. Or he could run. No, there are too many of them. Come now, lad. No more running. My friends, the prince has no choice. We follow the zealots this way. Oh my god, we're going to Mug Zealots! We're finally going. I understand. We're going to make zealots. You're all getting a sad meal. Because specifically says the prince has no choice. Maybe if they have the sword, they have a choice. 
<clears throat> yeah, maybe, but Captain still, Panda, like... Panda, did I make a mistake introduce? Oh no, this is not even gonna work. King Winston is going to have been away for many hours. Man, I... Like, who wants the little zealots meal? Mm. McDonald's is the greatest place. Yes. I'm a 10-piece confession. <laughs> <laughs> After the tour, they immediately go to bed. Uh... If anyone went to see me... Sleep. Bye. Bye, my elf. Help. The zealots lead the prince down some old rock hewn steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark room. Carved niches hold sickly candles. Many figures in red stand near the corners, watching silently. Fireborn, says one of the zealots. We have the prince. A shadow that the prince didn't see until just now slowly turns. It is a titan of a man with a broad chest and square shoulders draped in dark crimson robes. His face is like a statue, chiseled and weathered and fierce. Ah, the young prince. How I have searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? The prince can't bring himself to lift his head. Every breath trembles with effort. We found him alone, Fireborn. We think the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir, but he hasn't been seen since. Oh, it matters not. It is you I want, Oceanborn. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? I assume he saw the whole thing, else why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches the shadow of his shadow creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you I want you dead, he was lying to you. What use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the Fireborn. Wilder of the infernal miracles, and you, you and I share a goal. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members unless they leave me no choice. No, the death I seek is that of Daisha. And you do too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Dacia. They have tried to invade us for decades now. Why, evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lakeford and started the whole war, didn't they? Didn't they? Ah, you see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its maw. You destroyed Lakefort. The war started because of you. Don't you see? You and I are so alike. We both wield miracles. 
The only difference, my prince, is that you have no idea how to harness it, and that is no fault of yours. That is where I come in. As one chosen by God, it has been revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be this way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varnhau has a place just for you. A Lazarus has a place for you. I have a gift. A crown. Your crown. Not that of a king, but of a mighty wielder of miracles. Accept this gift, sire. Release your potential. Place it upon your head. Feel the crown beckoning. The prince stares at the circlet offered to him. The two parallel bands have a dull shine, but it is otherwise featureless. Lakeford, his brother, Dacia. The prince watches as the circlet glows with a lure. The war with Dacia is his fault. The Inquisitor is right. He must be right. He must be. accepts what is offered to him. The moment he makes contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in his wake. He raises it up and places it upon his head. The Inquisitor smiles, and everything is changed forever. He sees the storm again, but the vision is not like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real! It is here, and it is... Hellfire! <coughs> the flames roar outward, filling the underground space in an instant. All is red, then white, then blinding, searing. The prince screams and the fire roars back. And then... Darkness returns. And in the darkness... Embers glow. Cooked stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. The prince gets up and looks for the Inquisitor. Is he dead? Did the firestorm take his life? But rising up with him is a great shadow. Though the zealots were reduced to mere ashes, another stands, towering, indomitable, fireborn.
my prince. As the Inquisitor speaks, cinders fall from his mouth. We have much work to do. Come. Come. This is it, damn it. So you should try that <laughs> option you've been eager to try. Yes. I take it you want to hear my speed. Just, uh, just, just get ready. Mm. Just get ready. Of course. Mm. Oh, there's yeah. the king. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We, got a bad about this. we have a lovely view. <coughs> <coughs> okay. We're going to burn the entire kingdom. Can we not? Mm. Oh, there goes okay, the surprise. Oh, yeah. The entire kingdom and the yeah. neighbor kingdom as well. How about we don't okay. burn both of them down? Mm -hmm. Choice. How about the, the only house are gonna cook my barbecue? What? Don't you want to have fun how with we... fire? How? Didn't we like go to a whole arc like last yeah. season of ERT on how we know? shouldn't be just senselessly yeah. killing everyone? Personally, I need to learn lessons a few times. <laughs> but our but the yeah, the pack lover is the one you should be concerned about. <laughs> no oh, one chicken. seems to have learned anything. I vote for yeah. observing. Can we slay the chicken? Mm. Not to mention, well, as it's, it's, it's a goose. goose. It's it's hellfire. Hellfire. Nothing Ooh. but hellfire Ooh. forever. Hellfire. Oh my god. Oh, no one learned anything. We'll see. It, oh, it'll okay. be fun. Okay. I oh, know. it'll be fun. So I can be as well. Surprise! They play Alpha. The usual option is fun. We have the option. So come to me. You have a new option. But the usual option is fun. That's friends. Amazing travelers. The story continues. atop a hill. In the valley below lies Felden, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. The sky is clear. All is quiet. Do you know why I brought you here? The Inquisitor sounds distracted, distant. The Prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts. He's losing track of reason, of time. He thinks the other zealots are dead, but he isn't sure. There was fire, lots of fire, and his mind aches. Something blocks his attempts at remembering. Something else is in there. In his mind. The Dustborn was right. You are the Chosen One, granted influence upon this world like no other. Chosen by an enemy of the church, an enemy of God, the very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. We are not so different. A task has been revealed to me. Felden has become infested with Dacians. But, even before then, Felden deserved this judgment. The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long, 
while his expression wavering somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The prince looks up with him at the vast, deep, empty sky. Val Swith, Halburn, Oradeo, Medias, Felden, may the heavens come down upon them, and may they be reduced to ashes. Let's go, burning places! rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. From up high, a massive expanse of land stretches out before him. Rivers are ribbons of silver. Mountains are mounds of soil and stones. Towns and cities are but smudges of beige and grey, and the sea is a distant shimmer. Entire realms can fit within his grasp. He reaches out and begins to close his hand around the kingdom. A face appears. Oh. Before a flickering candle. Eyes closed, peaceful, beautiful, delicate, porcelain white. He watches her sleep. He watches her. My friends. You have a choice to make. The prince, in response to this vision, has the following options. Destroy. 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 You have one minute to discuss, and your time starts Ooh. now. Uh, seven. Okay. Mm. Can, can we not have to say? We can just listen to the rest. Listen to the rest. You've got an idea say, of something. So, say, our options say, are say, destroy. All right, destroy. everyone. There is a new uh, option destroy. that has been destroy. revealed. Okay. I feel like Via the last destroy. I want to shit past the city of Melbourne. This option is called detach. We will let go of this power, for it is too great for one mortal to bear. Well, we don't do anything. Good idea. Listen to the mouse, me. I can bear it. No, no, no. Silent and unharmed. Silent and unharmed. It should be burning. 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 My looks, mm. just like your yeah, hat me, is a part of your look. Yeah. You want me to take your hat? Oh, 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 kind of piece off yeah, I can do it to you. Yeah. 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 Is that yeah. yeah. an actual decision, Detach? Okay. We'll yes. Uh, yes. Detach was revealed to us recently. Last week, mm. discovered something new. So mm -hmm. I think, okay. honestly, yeah. it's uh, she can choose. Last week, so I think that she has the going with Detach, people. Is everyone uh, clear on that? Well, yeah, let's try it. Right. Ah, a hypercube to the side. Definitely try it. It's worth Friends, a shot. It's better being than modest. destruction. Travelers, destroyers. Oh no. The time for discussion yeah, is over. I am calling upon Kai. Ha ha. No, no. What <laughs> is your will? No pressure. 
Detach, please. What's your choice, funny name? Okay, what's it? Okay. Detach. Let me just try. No pressure to touch this. Uh, my choice. The only choice. Huh? Destroy. Oh my god. Destroy. Oh my god. I was joking. Destroy. 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 You have chosen destroy. Is this correct? Yes. Very much Are so. Are you sure? Yes, get out of his face. Yep, you know what? There you go, he's Let's he's committed see. to the oh, cause of the next week, lads. Turn on. Yes, next week. Yeah. It marks me again. Nods. Yes. Destruction is the right choice. Dance, little goose, dance! <laughs> I'm sorry, that really took me out of it. <laughs> it's still fine. <laughs> Send the travelers. I ask that, for a few minutes, you remain silent and direct your attention toward the town of Felden.
didn't want this. I didn't want this. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, and my brother wanted it as well. Divine justice for what they did to you. To us. <laughs> Get out of my head, please. They deserve this. This is divine judgment delivered by you. Your vision. Your will. Please. Please stop it. How do I make it stop? Give up. Let go. Give this miracle to me. You aren't using it. You're a failure. A waste of breath. A waste of everybody's time. The kingdom doesn't need you. Your family doesn't need you. Your brother doesn't need you. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Everyone would be better off without you. Not even I want you. Let <coughs> me go. You're lying. You're lying. Brother is here with me. Yes, we're traveling to the sacred lands of Odysseus together. And Mother is here too. And Father. together. Dear friends, welcome to the neutral ending of the tale of the prince. Yeah, neutral ending! Yeah. <laughs> this is a neutral! Ending. What's no. that? Right. We look up the not only does it get worse from here, but it could also get better. Do not give up, mm -hmm. Hope. Oh, friends. <laughs> we are going to take a group photo. Please, somebody suggest an iconic location for us to go to, and I will take us there the fastest way. The ashes of the, the beginning. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> this is the ashes of the city. We kind of... We're ah, really like that. Mm -hmm. How about that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You need to go yeah, to Big Zellers. Big Zellers. Big Zellers. The bridge at Moravos or the bridge at Felden? Moravos uh, is the one we all fell in. The bridge we were on just before the final scene that we're at right now. Ah, the bridge on the hill. Yes. I... So that's a bridge on a hill. Don't think I have a button to switch the maps back, actually. Oh. Oh, I... <laughs> yes. oh no, I know how. Oh, shit, there goes my action. No, no, I know how. If you, ex right, if you so exit this scene through scene. this orb, and know. then you re-enter, it resets no. to the that's... previous scene. Were you here last week? That is true. My friends, my click on here to go back to the temple, and then go back through to the scene. Does Wait. my plan succeed? And then we go back through here. 
Oh. And? Hey, right. we're back on the Ooh, screen! Yeah. around me, who is a volunteer photographer who can take a picture of us remotely? Please speak up. I guess I can. Who here owns a Nikon DSLR? Whoever said that behind me? Who was that? Me? Oh, I believe me. You are taking a photo. Any other volunteers to photograph us? Uh, Anybody get a Sony here. cam? <laughs> nah. We don't use Sony oh, cam. Yeah. We use, uh, what's that what's one? Camera. Show all that it's history. much easier now that you can fly your cameras around remotely. You're In fact, read. I have no <laughs> excuse, but I'm not going to take it. My friends, on the count of three, what should we all say together? Detach. Fire! Destroy! 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 I have heard you all, and because this is a democracy, we will be saying... Representation. <laughs> Three, two, one. I can't do that noise. Audio jungle. Oh yeah, we can gobble. Uh, Audio jungle. Audio preview. Don't even finish that, Middleton.